Hello, Nari McDiamond for miningnews.net. And I'd like to welcome John Wellborn, Chairman of Phoenix Resources. And John, the company had quite a transformative December quarter. So how do you now describe the company to a potential investor? Phoenix started as an iron ore miner and we're a very successful iron ore miner in the Midwest of Western Australia. And we've now got three key business units, mining, logistics and port services. Uh, the Owen Ridge mine is running at 1.3 million tonnes per annum. We haul that iron ore 500 kilometres of the port of Geraldton, uh, where we have a port operation that exports it. And we're also handling third party ore. We've expanded our asset base, we're expanding our production, uh, and we're looking to become a, a totally integrated mining and logistics business centred in the Midwest of Western Australia. So it's quite a transformation, John. Usually I ask people to go through the highlights of their flagship project, but now you've got a quite established asset base. What do you believe is compelling about Phoenix's portfolio? Well, our flagship asset is impressive, the Iron Ridge mine. Uh, it was it, We developed that as a 10 million tonne, 65% iron content ore body. Uh, and we've mined more than 4 million tonnes from that ore body in lump and fines product. Uh, and we've still got uh, 4 or 5 million tonnes to go in that mine. Uh, and so that's the flagship project. And we've just published a half-year report to the six months to 31 December and generated $22.1 million net profit after tax uh, from that operation. Uh, and that's the base. Uh, and as you say, we've also expanded our asset base considerably. A number of major transactions, we've consolidated the ownership of our logistics businesses. We've acquired Mount Gibson mine, uh, irons, uh, iron ore assets in the Midwest, can, consists of the China iron ore mine, 15 million tonnes, a shovel-ready project, two rail sidings, uh, and some large on-war storage facilities at Geraldton Port. We now believe we have the capacity to export up to 10 million tonnes of bulk commodity product from Geraldton. So we started a third party business uh, in uh, December quarter. Uh, we, we moved an annualised rate of three and a half million tonnes of material through the sheds for third parties. And that's generating revenue and it's going to be a future profit source for the company. We've acquired 500,000 tonnes from a private mine called 10M. And in what we believe is a, a huge opportunity for the future, we also secured a 10 million tonne right to mine from Sino Steel Corporation's Beaven W11 deposit. And that is a 20 million tonne resource opportunity, which is only 20 kilometres away from Iron Ridge. Uh, so we're mining at Iron Ridge. We've got new mining opportunities at 10M's Twin Peaks project, at the Beaven W11 project owned by Sino Steel, and at our Shine Iron Ore Mine. Uh, and all of that is situated in the exciting Midwest of Western Australia, where there's a plethora of projects under development, and we're talking to many of them around providing a unique haulage and port services solutions to their projects. So, John, with that plethora of opportunities at your fingertips, what's the focus for Phoenix in 2024? Primary focus is to continue the success of Iron Rich. It's a very stable operation. It's run consistently since we commissioned that mine and it's generating significant cash flow and strong profitability. The team there are doing a great job, and that needs to continue, and it is. Uh, the really exciting growth opportunities that we're focusing on in the current year is to progress the approval process and commission a similar scale mine at Beaven W11 to, to continue to work on the commissioning opportunity of the Shine Iron Ore Mine and to monetize the 500,000 tonnes we've acquired at Twin Peaks. So during the course of this year, we'll go from a single mine operation to having four ore sources uh, and putting together all of those opportunities by the end of the next 12 months, we're aiming to be a four to five million tonne a year iron ore producer. It's a very exciting transformation that will be rewarded by the market. That's our iron ore mining business. In our logistics business, we're already handling a significant amount of material for third party customers. Uh, during the course of this year, we'll have the opportunity to demonstrate to the market the revenue we can generate from that third party business and the profitability. Uh, and that flows through into our port business, uh, where we're looking to demonstrate that we can move between five and 10 million tonnes a year of, of material. 
Uh, so Fenex has been very successful uh, in uh, transitioning from an exploration and development company to a genuine iron ore miner, and we're now looking to become a bigger iron ore miner and a diversified logistics industrial play in the Midwest. We've got a great team. We're all very busy. It's a very exciting time at Phoenix. You mentioned the great team, and John, I'm sure your face is familiar to many in both the mining and the rugby spheres, but what would you like investors to understand about the team behind Phoenix? We've got a small team. We really focus on having 18 players within that team. Uh, the board are all significant shareholders in the company. Uh, I'm chairman and I have two fellow directors. Craig Mitchell, who is the founder of Mitchell Corporation, and then Newhall, which is now a wholly owned subsidiary of Phoenix and runs all of our logistics. Uh, and Gary, Gary Plowright is one of the original vendors of the Iron Ridge project. So we're all directly connected with the company. Uh, our, our management team uh, in Perth is headed up by our Chief Financial Officer, Stuart Osmeyer. Uh, at the mining operations, our general manager is Chris Tuckwell. He's the former uh, managing director of Macca Mining, who are our mining contractor. So we've got a very close handle on our mining operations. Uh, Jamie Jones runs our port operations in Geraldton, and Jamie South runs our logistics operations uh, within the Newhall and Phoenix Newhall businesses. Uh, Adrian Third is our commercial manager, and Goran Seat is the exciting role of general manager of our projects, looking to bring on all of our new exciting mines during the current year and, and looking at new opportunities. Uh, and so that management team are working hard for Phoenix. Well, you've mentioned exciting times ahead, John. So finally, in a nutshell, what are the investment highlights you'd like a potential investor to hear? Phoenix is a very profitable company. We raised $15 million in equity in 2019, and we've since paid back more than $50 million in fully frank dividends. Got a very strong balance sheet. As at 31 December, we had around $65 million in cash. We've got no senior corporate debt uh, within the Fenex head company. Uh, and we're generating cash flows. Our earnings are growing. Uh, we've got a very strong iron ore mining business and a growing logistics business in the Midwest of Western Australia. Uh, and we're looking to deliver exceptional returns to our shareholders. John, thanks very much for taking the time this morning. Thanks very much. Look forward to the conference.